Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, The World of Light. In the last episode, we went through a little bit of the town to free the Mii Sword Fighter, climbed our way up the mountains to free the Ice Climbers, and then with the help of Slippy Toad, we fixed a ship and went through space to rescue Falco. And we have, we have also defeated Galeem's final commander, Master Hand. And in this episode, we have finally cleaned uh, the pathway so that we can finally go face Galeem, the Lord of Light, the spirit of the white color orb. I'll take you down with my own hands. But I've heard your voices, guys, and I know what you want me to do. So we're going to go save all the spirits. Yes, that's right. All 615 of them. The adventure continues. But do you know how many more we have to save? Yes, there are 466 more of them. So let's go ahead and get started by clearing all the ones in space. Starting with the little Luma here. Wait a minute. How are there Kirby puppet fighters? But Kirby wasn't captured. Unless. Oh no. Did they copy Meta Knight's true form to make Kirby? Well, anyway, we gotta take the spirit down. And there's no conditions except stars. So with Kirby, we gotta take down four more Kirbys. The Lumas. The followers of Rosalina. It's all four of the main colors. A red one, a yellow one, a green one, and a blue one. And a star rod. Oh, it's all star related items. <laughs> there goes the blue one. <laughs> and throw the star on to get rid of the green one. No. Whoop star! Or just kill the red one. Warp star! That doesn't matter, he's invincible. Just gotta kill that yellow one. Okay, now to hit him. Haha! <laughs> Throwing a star rod works. We rescued the Luma. Hey, Snivy. Or Leaf Storm. <laughs> yes, Leaf Storm. Ah, uh, Snivy is also a Pokemon that can be spawned from Pokeballs. And next up, our spirit is Magalore. The final boss from Kirby Star Ally. No, wait, not Star Allies. Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. You gotta watch out for his magic attacks and get Scream Flip immunity. Here we go, Magalore! Watch out for his magic attacks, Kirby. But don't worry, you faced this guy before. Oop, almost fell. Ugh. That darkness hole. Oh, why did I walk into it? Motion sensor bomb. Oh, the crab. Haha, now I got Korn's magic attack. Art Thunder! Haha, <laughs> we can use the thunder thing against him. He's getting with that dark in his hole. At least the motion sensor bomb is gone. Hello, Thunder. Haha, <laughs> 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 Meteor Smash. Defeat him, Magalore. All right. Now on to our next spirit, over here. Starman, from Earthbound. It's a stamina battle, and Starman assist trophies will appear. Definitely get assist killer, because the assist trophy here is annoying too. Starman! Not to be confused with the Starman from Super Mario Bros. Ready? 
So a metal version of Ness. Ow. Now watch out for his lightning. Fortunately, his shots are quick. Warp Star! Oh, Ryan to the Long Star! Dang it. Ready? Go! Alright, let's see if I can try to take down the Star Man. Unfortunately, the other guy keeps using the PK Fire. Warp Star! There we go, get some real damage. All right, the really assist trophy. Not to worry about him. There we go. Oh, that almost killed him. And dash him. Victory! There we go. Took down the star man. Now we got two spirits over here, one in a dead end, and one that's guarding a new building. So let's take down Puppy Hair, the leader of Star Fox. We must defeat the main fighter to win. Because in this, Fox and Falco are going to help him too. If we can defeat Peppy Hair, we win. And the reinforcements will appear during the battle. So for now, let's focus on Peppy Hair. Oh, now they're here. Ha! Ah. <laughs> it's a bunny King DDD. I guess they chose King DDD because of his hop ability. Oh. Nice, got a triple hit. Yeah, I didn't bring this way again, don't need it. Well, there goes Falco <laughs> hitting the screen. <laughs> There we go, it took both of them out. We defeated Peppy Hare, a master spirit. Kind of like with the shopkeepers. So Peppy Hare's building is a little bit different. Peppy Hare's location is now open because his is a spirit training gym. Or a dojo. So yeah, you can put spirits here and they can learn different styles. Whereas Peppy Hare teaches air style. But now we got one more spirit here, and it's Gino from Super Mario RPG. Of course, everyone remembers Gino. Defeat the main fire to win time battle. The enemy's final smash meter charges quickly. Uh, let's see. I need the jam final smash charge. Or at least that's what I would like. Or Franklin badge would be good. Yeah, jam final smash charge. Here we go, Gino! Along with Peach, Bowser, Mario, and Mallow. And Mallow's just another Kirby! <laughs> of course, Kirby's not gonna appear. Uh, Gino's not gonna appear yet. Instead, it's gonna be Mario, Mallow, and Bowser first. So, to get uh, Gino to appear, you have to defeat the other fighters first. This is a four-star spirit, so this is the hardest, uh, the hardest difficulty. Okay, shell attack! Ha <laughs> ha! The sliding shell. Oh, I thought I had Bowser. Well, close. Oh, there goes Mallow. Now Princess Peach joins. We got the, at least one more of them to make Gino appear. Oh, there goes Bowser. There's Gino. 
We can defeat, defeat, defeat him, we win. But he has a super scope because he likes shooting attacks. Oh, oh dang it. I thought I could, like, meteor him. Oh! That hurt. Final smash! Take this, Gino. Ultra Sword! Well, that did some good damage. Oh, I got less than a minute. Don't tell me he's healing. No, Peach is the one healing. But that's okay. Oh boy, 30 seconds. Come on! Out of time. Nice! Defeated Gino, finally. With about five seconds to spare. Yeah, those legend fights are pretty tough. But I think that's all the shine sprite uh, shine uh, shine spirits here. So next we're gonna head near the mountain. There's one spirit over here guarding a treasure chest. Smoosh! To rolling flop, there is one thing best in life. Rolling! Squish! I roll over you and make you flat like sheet of paper! Ready? Go! Yes, we got Rock Mario. Which is, again, is just another version of Mario. This is the Jigglypuff that likes the neutral special rollout. But thankfully, Metal Gear can easily help with this. And goodbye. Victory! What? Why do you not squish for rolling flop? Ugh. Rolling and squishing is not the same as it was. You go now. I have lost passion for Squish. Alright, we're gonna Spirit Free. We can get this treasure chest. What's inside? 3,000 Spirit Points. That could be used to buy things. So now it's time to go to the skill tree and see if I can get some extra skills. Let's see. Hmm. Healing item attraction. Uh, let's go with critical health attack up. Increases the tap power for a while when badly damaged. Um, one away from getting another one. Alright, so now let's go ahead and head down here and do another easy one. Bokoblin! One of the classic Zelda enemies. The enemy starts the battle with an Aura Club. Although Aura Clubs can be pretty deadly, especially if... Uh, Especially if they cause tornadoes. Plus, if you're too close, they can easily hit you pretty good. Let's defeat these Bokoblins. Go! Of course, okay, nah, it's, Oh, only one of them starts with an Orc Club. The rest of them start with a Killing Edge. Although, Killing Edge is going to be bad, too. Especially if they glow. When they glow, they have more power and launch power. with are tidy and there's no time limit at least. <laughs> One of them went fly. Another one down. And another one bites the dust. Ha! No amount of Queen references can save you now. Okay, defeat the Bokoblin. Uh, 
right? And we got a few more spirits around this cliffside here. So we'll, next one is... You may think of me as a normal shy guy, but I am actually unshy guy! Yes, public speaking holds no challenge for me. Now I shall defeat you with confidence and charm! Ready? Go! Yeah, a bunch of shy guys. <laughs> it's funny, it's just me, me fighters wearing a bunch of <laughs> uh, shy guy masks. Oh, black hole. Power blocks are good when the enemy's on the ground. Ah, you fell. And now Galaga. Uh, oh, you ducked one. Fighter captured. <laughs> Thank you, Boss Galaga. The balloon of my self-esteem is sadly punctured. I feel so... deflated. Well, I really shattered his confidence. Alright, our next spirit over here is Expresso! From Donkey Kong! Espresso, the ostrich. Ready, go! The enemy's incredibly fast, and the stage is slippery. But there we go. My strategy of just pushing him to the side work. Alright. Let's go to the skill tree real quick. So next, hmm. Uh, let's get this one, healing item attraction. Pulls nearby recovery items closer. That's especially good, especially if you have healing items up. Yeah, we got quite a few spirits around here. So next, let's go ahead and defeat this one over here. Coraline! From the Street Pass fishing game. The enemy favor side specials. Which Isabelle's side special is the fishing rod. And there's a me helper, of course. that one. And there we go. Defeated Coraline. Alright, so now I got a couple of guarding some chests. One up there and one down here. The one down here is Mario from Mario Tennis Aces. Again, the fact that this is a Mario from another universe, technically, or the tennis universe. Here we go. Hostile assist trophies will appear. The enemy favors smash attacks. And Princess Peach is going to help him. And the assist trophy is Pong! <laughs> gotta watch out for the paddles and the ball. Oh, the lasers are gone. Apparently the left side won. Ooh! 
You like smash attacks? I like smash attacks. And of course, Paul comes back because, well, this is tennis. Ooh! That hit. Uh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, got me. Oh, wait. No. No, I'm still alive. Ow! That hurt. Hey, don't hit me with a golf club. This is tennis, not golf. You're playing the wrong sport. Ooh! Again, the fact that you're using a golf club. There we go. Oh, I missed. Oh, the ball hit me. Ah, oh, and I was so close too. Let's try again. There we go, good hit. Well, there goes Peach. Gotta get rid of Mario. Goodbye, Mario. There we go, that went better. Another version of Mario. And defeating him, we get a treasure chest. Inside, a chain chop hat for your me. And now we got another treasure chest being guarded by the Great Fairy from The Legend of Zelda. I think this one is specifically Ocarina of Time. Once again, I want Jam Final Smash Charge. The enemy special moves have increased power and has healed significantly when at high damage. Because fairies are known for healing. Bring it on, great fairy. Ooh. Yeah, she really is bringing it on. Mostly because she's a three star spirit. Come on, get down here. Hit you with the sword. Oh. Aha, made it. Aha. <laughs> Oh, health recovery. Oh, what? Oh, dang it. Stupid teleport move. Trying again. Nice. <laughs> that went a lot quicker. We rescued the great fairy. Okay, another treasure chest. It's inside. The main theme from Yoshi's Woolly World. So another music track. So to finish up this little area, we got Team Chaotix, which are Espio the Chameleon, Charmy B, and Vector the Crocodile. And they're from Sonic Heroes. Here we go, Team Chaotix. Espio, Charmy, and Vector, which are Sonic, Pichu, and King Karul. Let's go. I don't know why they chose P2 for Charmy B. Probably because he's yellow. Oh, the enemy's invisible, too. Thankfully, they're not invisible for too long. But we do have to defeat all three of them in order to win. Yep. 
Yep, Sonic Heroes. It's not the thing here is a play. Well, I can just be a Charmy B. And there goes Espio. Now for Vector. Goodbye. all the spirits around here. We should look somewhere else now. Suppose next we'll go to try to free the ones at this gym or oh, this dojo over here. First we must get past Rover from Animal Crossing. No conditions. So there are three fighters you gotta deal. Well you gotta deal with. So we go Rover. Of course, he's got two villagers to help him. And of course, on the train, because on Animal Crossing City Folk, he came by train. It's one villager down. Uh oh, I got the bomb train. Uh oh. Haha! -ha! It's a good thing Kirby can jump multiple times. <laughs> but anyway, defeated Rover. Now up ahead are the Dojo Masters, Copper and Booker, the two guards of the guard of the gate, and they shield often. Their shields have extra durability. So you got the serious dog and the more laid-back dog, Copper and Booker, two duck hunts, does two dogs. Why couldn't they have done this for Twin Bellows? That cam will explode, so watch out for that. It's hard to tell which one's Copper and which one's Booker. I'm guessing the lighter one is Copper and the darker one is Booker. <laughs> At least that's what I'm guessing. Oh. I think that can didn't explode. Uh oh, here comes King Bubblin. Oh, there goes Booker. Watch out for the bomb he throws, it'll destroy the bridge. <laughs> and that portable goblin got hit by the blast and fell. Oh, shield's down. Now time to... Taste my hammer! <laughs> Copper and Booker. Two guardsmen. And now their dojo is open. And they will teach your spirits the brick wall style. And now, to finish this episode off, we're going to go free the last of the spirits that we didn't get in the Light Temple. So the lower floor, we got them all. It's the upper floor where we missed a few. I believe there are three left, starting with these ones over here. Another Robot Master, Wind Man, from Mega Man 6. You gotta deal with dangerously heavy winds. Yimmy loves to dump, jump, and it's a stamina battle. So here we go, Wind Man! And watch out for a special move, Windstorm! And he gets a rocket belt. Yeah, Wind Man, I believe, is from Mega Man 6. And 6 is practically my favorite Mega Man game. 
kind of funny is he's not using the one move he can use as that's air, which is air shooter. But that's Air Man's weapon. So I guess they didn't want him to use that too much. Took down Wind Man. I believe Wind Man was a Chinese robot master. At least that's the country he originated from. And now the next spirit is a hard one. The three sword Pokemon, Cobalion, Terrakian, and Verizian, which are Lucario, Yoshi, and Duck Hunt. Yemi's melee weapons have increased power. Yemi can unleash powerful critical hits random, and they start with a beam sword because they are the sword Pokemon. Here we go, the Sword Trio. Cobalion, Terrakian, and Verizian. Who all actually have robot counterparts in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Go! It's funny, Yoshi is Cobalion, uh, Duck Hunt is Terrakian, and Lucario is Verizian. You know, not, I don't think any characters can use uh, grass attacks in this game, except Snivy. Now we're in the steel chamber of the Kalos region. This is Wickstrom's chamber, specifically. Oh, and we're all metal. That's funny. But I've already taken a lot of damage. So many swords. This is not gonna end well. Oh, how did I miss all three of them? Well, just the two that were there, really. Well, there goes Terrakian. Now take care. Oh, or a spear. Well, I got one of the three. Trying again. It's also kind of funny how N's castle theme is playing, considering all three of them are from Unova. Oh, now the dragon chamber, Drasna's place. Dragons. Like a Garchomp, Dragonite, Hydreigon, and Axew. Oh, you gotta watch out for the Dragon Flames. It shoots from his mouth. It's kind of hard to defeat in three Ace guys at once. And the Beam Sword's kind of annoying. The swords are annoying. Okay, which chamber are we going to next? Oh, the flooding chamber. Sable's chamber. It's funny there's Piplup there, and yet he was a Pokemon from Brawl. And yet he got replaced with Oshawott. Which I'm kind of glad about, really. Although some people might not be happy with it. Alright, that time we took out Bryzian and Cobalion. Now we gotta take out Terrakian. There we go! Took down the Sword Trio. So yeah. The last spirit in the Sky Temple is this treasure chest. Yes. This is a trap. Because it's not a treasure chest. It's a trap! It's an enemy from Kid Icarus Uprising. 
Okay, Mimikyuti. Yeah, Mimikyuti's and Kiddick were surprising or a little bit annoying because of their leg attacks. And that's exactly what this one's gonna use. They can spin, they can break dance, they do lots of kick combos. And they're pretty tough. Especially since the Mimikyuti is pretty quick. Yeah, I believe that is the only treasure chest that is in this game that is actually a trap rather than an actual item. But it got killed by the sliding shell. Alright, and that should be the last Spirit of the Light Temple. Alright, let's head back outside. That's all the spirits here. We should look somewhere else now. But actually, I'm all out of time for this episode, so... Next time on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, The World of Light. We are going to continue exploring this map so we can try to free all the spirits from Galeem's control. See you guys on the other side!